Welcome to uh, Tuesday's Carol. I'm running with a uh, oh, little town of Bethlehem today. This was uh, written uh, in Bethlehem. And in a sense, you can feel its influence in that first verse. A oh, little town of Bethlehem, how still we see you lie above your deep and dreamless sleep the silent stars go by yet in your dark streets shining is everlasting light the hopes and fears of all the years are met in you tonight there's a kind of there's a kind of presence in that in that verse that the, the person was there the writer was philip brooks uh, the reverend philip brooks rector of holy trinity in philadelphia and um, in the year that the uh, American Civil War ended and that uh, Lincoln was assassinated, uh, we're talking 1865, he went to Bethlehem. And uh, this was published or written indeed in 1865, 1866, just over that kind of Christmas period, it looks like. Anyway, he became Anglican Bishop of Massachusetts in 1891 um, and was a towering figure um, all six foot six of him substantial man um, it, um, one of the commentators writes he takes rank as one of the most eloquent large-hearted and lovable men America has produced and uh, and his massive frame impressing one at first sight as a giant, yet so filled with light and life that he seemed as radiant as an angel. Wow, what a, what a, a, a great compliment that was, um, if only, if only. So there we are, O Little Town of Bethlehem. And the tune, now, um, the tune that is most popular is... And thirty one hymn books. Saint Louis. Saint Louis. I mean, I've, I've, I don't think I've ever sung it to that. And I can only think that the two hundred and thirty one hymn books are mainly in America because. In the UK, well, it's set to various things. I have to say, the Methodist hymn book didn't set it to that. The Methodist hymn book set it to a tune called Bethlehem, and the um, uh, Mission Praise sets it initially to a tune called Christmas Carol. Um, uh, but what we're used to singing, what I'm used to singing it to, is. Is Forest Green. Now, Forest Green is a tune that was written in Forest Green, and uh, it is a, a melody that is a folk melody that has been adapted to a tune for a hymn. And the person who did the ad adaptation was Ralph Vaughan Williams. A well-known editor of uh, Songs of Praise, editor of English Hymnal, um, died in 1958. Um, a, a, a man who had an enormous influence over uh, uh, church music generally at the beginning of the 20th century. And the original name of the folk tune was The Ploughboy's Dream. So what you're listening to is The Ploughboy's Dream, adapted by Ralph Vaughan Williams into a hymn tune that he wrote, um, uh, which we now know as Forest Green. And the words, well, Philip Brooks wrote these words for a Sunday school 
again so it's a it's a gentle non-theological easy to read understandable hymn it's not one that um is glorious about the angels appearing in some uh, glorious way to the shepherds but is it takes that birth of Jesus in a far far more gentle way it's the silent night approach to the birth of Jesus rather than the joy to the world approach to the birth of Jesus and the last verse uh, the first two verses are just are, are the first three verses are how silently how silently and how wonderfully this gift is you know actually there were five verses to it i've got a copy of the other verse upstairs but i can't be bothered to go and get it at the moment there are four verses here and and the 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 third verse how silently how silently the wondrous gift is given silent night kind of approach to this and the last verse oh holy is 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 a prayer the first three are telling the story the last verse is the prayer the last verse is the one that um uh, we're talking to god about O holy child of bethlehem descend to us we pray cast out our sin and enter in be born in us today we hear the christmas angels the great glad tidings tell oh come to us abide with us our lord emmanuel great hymn and here it is <laughs> 